Hello everyone, this is Kyle Randall Tanzik from Michigan Medieval. Um, it's a very extra cold and snowy day here in Detroit. Um, I have about 14 years of HEMA experience, that means buying and reading a lot of HEMA texts. Um, so my own personal biases are that I love this book for how old it is. Um, this is the oldest known HEMA text, so I, I tend to favor this book a little extra just because it is so old. Um, so today we're going to be talking about the medieval art of swordsmanship, the Royal Armory's MS-133 or I-33, depending on your preference, edited by Jeffrey Forgate. Let's move this stuff out of the way and have a look at the original book. Oh, before I do that, I want to show you, this is my previous copy of the 133. This is like a DIY copy, you know, that I made like 10 or 12, I don't know, maybe even like 13 years ago. Um, so any copy of the 133 is an improvement over this <laughs> piece of junk. Um, so let's have a look. Um, you can immediately tell this is a, a book of very high quality. Um, the cover is nice. It had a paper cover that got ripped off very quickly um, in traveling in my bag. Um, yeah, the images are super crisp. Uh, everything about this book is beautiful, honestly. This is, you really couldn't get a better look and better overall appearance out of a HEMA text or any kind of textbook, just in general. Um, so, um, let's talk about the durability of this book. If you look at the binding, it is in fact stitched together. Maybe they'll show up on the camera, not sure. But it's stitched together, which makes it a lot stronger. Um, it's hardcover, of course. Um, the paper is very, very thick. Um, uh, yeah, cl clearly very quality paper. Um, about as durable as a book gets. I really, do, I really don't know what they could more they could do to make it stronger than like maybe like put metal or leather or something in it. I have no clue. Um, so translation, translation is very solid. Um, I am not a speaker of Latin, but I can tell you that you can see the red in Latin and the black in English. This is obvious that there, there's there's no BS in here. They're giving you the straight stuff. Um, practicality, does it stay open? Yes, fantastic. I'm so happy that this stays open. Um, you'd be surprised how rare that really is. Um, table of contents. It has a table of contents at the beginning, but it's a slightly brief table of contents. I think I would have liked to see a little more thorough um, summer, summarization of here, of, you know, the different sections and whatnot. Um, but that's fine. It's good. It's good that it's in there at all. Um, it has a ribbon bookmark. You can see that. Let me grab it. Yeah, come on now. Ribbon bookmark. Super useful. Um... Yeah, you'd be surprised how, how rare that is. Uh, moving on. Um, one thing that's cool about this is it gives you a pretty much a huge explanation of just about everything to do with this book at the beginning of it. Um, so when it comes to like making a practical book you can bring with you and study, um, having all the reference material you might need and explanations of things before the actual text in the beginning, it just saves you from having to carry around one more thing around in you with your bag. Um, so I like that. Uh, what else? Cost. This is a 70 US dollar book shipped from the UK, cost about $20. That's $90 total. This is a very expensive book. And like, um, this is probably like <laughs> the most expensive book I own. Certainly the most expensive HEMA text that I own. Um, what do you get for your money? It's massive. It's a massive book, 176 pages, uh, of course, lavishly illustrated, lavishly translated and explained and really spared no expense. Um, it, uh, the quality of it is just obvious when you hold it, um, but it's still a $90 book. Like, um, you know, it's not cheap. So my closing thoughts on this are amazing book, great book, um, probably too expensive. I'd love it if there was a cheaper version of this. Like, I, you know, it kind of creates a stumbling block for a lot of newer students when I'm like, oh, they really like, they really like, you know, Sword and Buckler, they want to study 133. Okay, just drop 90 bucks on a book. You know, that's a, a little bit of a, a hurdle for some newer students to jump over, but I'd rather just have them reading the book. So Royal Armories, please make a cheaper, you know, more throwaway version of this book so this one doesn't get annihilated in my uh, bag with all my sweaty gear and stuff on, on my butt, uh, back when I'm on my bike. <laughs> that would be nice. Um, this book may be not great for beginners because they throw a lot at you. There's so much content in this book. 
Um, it's just not an easy piece of source material to work with, in my opinion. So if you're a brand new person to brand new to HEMA, maybe this is not the book for you. Um, but really, when it comes to like HEMA text, you cannot ask for a better book. Um, quality, it, like everything in it is, is fantastic. I'm grateful that this book exists. Okay. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask in the comment below. There's a bunch of other people who've reviewed this book who are good. Um, yeah, have done a good job, maybe more thorough about it than I am. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Facebook. Uh, hey, take care, everybody.